So, I uh, live in this small village, right? Hoping that I have access to good air, good water, and good milk because there's a farmer, he's nearby, and um, he has his own cows, uh, milks his own cows. I go to that farmer every like one or two days and you know I, I buy like maybe a gallon of milk because I want to get the milk directly from the farmer that way it's not pasteurized it doesn't stay in the store for like months it doesn't get um processed doesn't get um homogenized and other processes for like making milk I don't know better for the store and and thinking I was under the impression that I'm, I'm having access to the you know the, the best milk because I'm buying it directly to the, from the source and I'm not um getting it basically from the store we'd added bullshit right and i talked to the farmer today and he blew my mind well when i learned this fact like I, I was just really blown away so it turns out that all cows like 99 percent of cows on this planet at this moment right now are made in a fucking laboratory let me explain why and how this actually happens so uh, just just like you have uh, seeds, uh, we, we, you know, for farmers, which are laboratory made, uh, they're called called hybrid seeds or GMO seeds. They're seeds that are literally made in a laboratory and can't uh, are not um, what's the um, homo? What's the word I'm looking for? They uh, they cannot uh, self reproduce. Heirloom. They're not heirloom. Uh, so these cows, uh, you are not allowed to have natural reproduction of cows it's it's actually it's, al it's almost forbidden uh, because most governments have programs that support farmers that have cows it, if the government uh, didn't support the farmers with cows uh, it would be really really tough to have uh, have a cow and be even in profit because uh, the, the, the competition is really really fierce you know back uh, a couple a couple like 50 or 100 years ago when everything was pretty much organic you had cows which would produce like what maybe three gallons of milk if you're lucky two to three gallons of milk per day and the cows today they produce like like say at least six or seven gallons of milk per day which is almost double now this is how it actually happens not only is a cow under like mega doses of antibiotics not only it does the cow, cow get vaccinated almost like yearly and and very very often uh and the governments are non-stop keeping track of every single cow that's alive as if it's a spaceship it's, it's just a, it's just a goddamn cow who cares it's like they're keeping a track as if it's some some very like precious commodity and then after all these antibiotics which you're pretty much forced to, to give to your cow because those are the government rules if you want the government to allow you to sell that milk you have to not use natural reproduction. So it's not allowed to have a male cow to have sex with a female cow and give you offspring. You know, that, that's how nature works. You know, sex is how you reproduce, right? No, you have to buy seeds or, or sperm from a laboratory and then have a veterinarian inject it into a cow. And that's the only way uh, the government paperwork will allow you to have a cow and sell milk. So, so this farmer that I'm buying milk from, I, I was shocked when I found this out today that he, his cows only reproduce uh, with laboratory like specimen, I mean seeds, sperm, specimen. Uh, unless you buy it from a government approved laboratory, the paperwork will not be like sufficient and you will have like an illegal cow. Like, like wh what the fuck? It's like, uh, it's, it, the, the world is, is so fucked up that even milk and cheese, which are the two most popular products in the entire world, there isn't a single nation in this world which doesn't consume cheese and milk, no matter their religion. No matter what religion, cheese and milk are the most popular things for con daily consumption in the all nations. Like after bananas, it, it's, it's the most sold food in the entire planet. So... These, these 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 guys come up with this giant uh, giant genius idea that from now on all cows will be laboratory made and you cannot have your normal you know specimens and no normal races and normal like cows which produce like you know three liters of milk are not coked up on, on all these antibiotics you pretty much once this cow you know it comes from a laboratory for it to stay alive like you literally have to give it antibiotics to help its immune system 
So if a farmer has either a choice to go, go by, the, by the rules, uh, play ball with the government, or if they don't do it, first of all, it's it's not really illegal to sell sell the milk unless you buy these government sperm that are made in laboratory to, to give your cow offspring so you have more cows. So pretty much all, all, most cows alive on this planet right now are some some GMO laboratory genetically modified DNA or whatever, right? It's it's like why would you buy sperm from a laboratory? It's like you you just get a male cow and a female cow. That that's how cows are made for, for crying out loud. It's like the, the the garments here are playing God for crying out loud. It's like no, it's like it's it's like you don't tell nature what to do. Like when we have no idea what will happen. Like. 20 30 50 years from now like what are the consequences of this like where where is the trials like no, nobody had, like nobody even knows about this like i heard this from a farmer like i have been buying milk from this farmer for like years and we just had a casual conversation today and he is like yeah man life stuff you know it's like these um the big companies buying milk from me like are really being treating me bad and and all this stuff and we we kept talking we kept talking i was and he was like yeah and back then when when i had my own seed farm like what like, what, what seed farm like what, what do you mean seeds you're talking cows here we're not talking uh, plants here i was like oh yeah 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 so you have to like the, the, the seeds are from from laboratory like, what, what wait, wait what seed like you mean you mean like sperm like i i i had no idea this was a requirement it's it's like you buy you know milk every day like every time you go to the grocery first of all the milk you buy is is pasteurized which means it's treated with with the temperature which is totally unnecessary and then then it's treated with um homogenation or whatever it's called well where they like change the texture of it by by passing it through these really really tiny holes and pressurizing it and then if that's not all they take all the all the fat of the out of the milk and and make it like pretty much all the all the healthy substances are removed and all you're left with is is white water pretty much it's just white water with a taste of milk it's not it's not real milk unless you literally taste raw milk from a from a farmer's cow you will not know the real taste of milk you know till you die like who which person that you know has tasted raw milk from a reliable source and even if they did it's it's raw milk that comes from a cow that's 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 pretty much bred in a laboratory. Like, what has this world come to? Like, does how does this not make you angry with with, with the entire world? It's it's like everything just. I don't know. Like, have, did any one of you watching this know know this like before watching this video? Like, I just learned this today, and and that's it. I'm speechless. That's, that's my quick live stream for today. Thank you guys for watching. And um, I'll, I'll see you guys for more videos about finance and more videos about uh, normal. I mean, not normal life. I don't want to talk about normal life because I don't want to be like the rest of the people. Um, I want to talk about natural life because nor the definition of normal is be like everyone else, which I'm not interested in being. Uh, the definition of natural is something we're not today. Let's say Martin says, I don't know where you're located, but here in Germany, we're still allowed to reproduce cows in a normal way. It's true that most farmers buy semen from a semen bank. Yeah, well, um, you know, it's not like illegal to have uh, normally reproduced cows, but having cows is barely profitable. And government uh, give you um, subventions and uh, some whatever you call it, like additional ben yearly benefits. But to get the benefits and to... the be able to make profit to begin with you need these benefits from the government because there's so much forced competition like when you have cows that are producing like six or seven gallons or or, or 20 liters of milk you can't really compete with them because these, these are like genetically bred uh cows made in laboratories so to compete with them you have to make a lot of money to make a lot of money you need these subventions and uh, these benefits and these perks that are given to you by the government to get this, you need to have paperwork. To have paperwork for a cow, you have to buy semen from a semen bank. So the whole process is made. So yes, you can technically do it, but it's really, really hard and unprofitable. And they use money as a way to bribe people into doing things the way they want to do them. So you, you, you pretty much left, left with no other choice. If you want to have profit and, and not be broke, you have to follow the rules. You have to play, play blah with their game and their rules. So. 
yeah, it's not like actually illegal, but it's almost illegal. It's 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 it, like I, if if this shit keeps going the way it's going right now, like there will be some rule and it will be made legal in a year or two because they're just slowly increasing the heat, slowly turning up the 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 regulations and uh, unnatural ways to force capitals and force production. It's like you can't force nature to do what you want it to do. That's not nature. It's it's called synthetic production. If you want, you know, 20 liters from a cow per day, just 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 get a clone and 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 keep it in a laboratory. And to top it off, for you guys watching the, these 10 minutes, at the end of the day, after all this synthetic unnatural stuff, these cows, most of the cows never see the light of day. It's like how many cows actually go eat grass. And the grass they're fed is is most likely like even like even if the cows are let out outside when winter comes, and they cannot be outside and they have to like be fed indoors. The grass they feed the cows is from grass that's been literally planted from seeds that's that they're hybrid seeds made in laboratories as well on soil uh, that was used for to grow other stuff that's also natural and on soil that has been treated with, uh, with pesticides, herbicides, and, and many other chemicals. So even if your cow is is a free range cow, which is pretty rare, when winter comes, you have to keep it indoors because it's cold and have to feed it with like stockpiles of of grass. Uh, these stockpiles of grass, when purchased in bulk, are usually purchased from big productions of 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 grass. And these productions of grass comes from, from comes from like these normal farm fields, which are treated with normal normal chemicals they're not natural but they're called normal because this is this is what everyone does right now yeah martin says i'm a farmer and it's true that we are totally dependent on the money from eu the food is so cheap here that we cannot produce for the prices we get yeah it, it, you're pretty much forced to obey because as a farmer it's not possible to be in profit and you're de dependent on the money from the eu exactly this is so right now uh, this example is for um this example, I'm talking right now for Serbia, but Martin says it's the same for EU because Serbia is not part of the EU. <sighs> well, thank God it's not part of EU. I, I, I think EU is a, <laughs> is a clusterfuck. So, but that, that's, that's maybe a different video. Thank you guys for watching to these 12 minutes. And if you're not blown away, and, and if, if you haven't noticed, or if your friends don't notice, you should definitely share this video. Like, I, I don't ask, you know, for, for subscribe subscriptions and, and sharing videos, but this, this this deserves the light of day and this deserves uh, people deserve to notice it's like they don't even know the shit they're putting in their in their mouth and then you know you, you people wonder why they're why they're in pills when they reach 40 and um and why they're depressed and why they get cancer at like 35. yes because because of all the fucked up shit you put in your body it's a miracle we're even alive after all the shit we put inside our body it's like these bodies are, are, are our bodies are miracle workers to be alive in, in this in the circumstances we, we make we force our bodies to live so when you look at like the natural habitat habitat of our body and when you compare it to the current uh modern civilized 21st century it's like it's a wonder we're even fucking alive <laughs> but that's a whole different video and man am i pissed off it's like wow I was I, I was under depression. I was drinking healthy milk until I've learned this information. Like how far away do I have to run to to find normal food? It's it's like living in a village isn't enough these days. I have to have my own goddamn cow. Wow. Yeah, I might get a goat though. Goat makes a lot less. Like goats are less upkeep. They're way cheaper and produce healthier milk. And they produce only like a gallon a day or, or a few liters a day, which is like not much work you just let them walk around they're pretty cute and and look weird yeah might get a goat <laughs> yeah but that that's 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 uh, not gonna happen tomorrow if it happens let you guys know make a video on it tell me you guys what you think I'm, I'm really interested to hear about you guys watching from different parts of the world america and um i don't know asia or or any other part of eu or or even part of non like eu or europe whatever russia I'm, I'm very interested to hear you guys what's happening in the area around you like do you know any farmers and and how how what are the rules and regulations in your area it'd be great like if you can make some comments you know from everyone and their own location how things are over there because it just horrible that you know they push all this bullshit on media and news but the only 
the only important stuff nobody knows about. Like this, this, this should be taught in school. It's like, yeah. Well, you guys are awesome for spending these 15 minutes with me. I hope you feel um you feel what I feel. And if enough people know about this, uh, sooner or later the world has to change. Yeah, let's let's change the world, guys. Thank you guys for watching. And if you're still here, it'd be pretty cool if you subscribe. Uh, it makes me feel better about this channel and uh, motivates me to post stuff every day for you guys. If this makes you feel bad, I can tell you some insider stories. It's really bad for agriculture and nobody knows. Yeah, uh, I have two of my best friends are huge agriculture producers. And um, yeah, definitely post some comments. I, I would love to hear like, give, give me give me the worst story you have. I heard some pretty bad stories, but you never know. It could be different. Every 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 country is its own clusterfuck these days. Thanks, Martin, for commenting on this live stream. See you guys later.